You may want to buy storage for your PC before it's too late and AMD's next generation CPUs are looking really fast. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. Alright, so some new information was just leaked out about the Ryzen 6000 and 7000 series processors, and this information comes from the YouTuber Red Gaming Tech, and according to his sources, first starting off with the Ryzen 6000 series processors, apparently these CPUs will be based off of the Zen 3 Plus microarchitecture, and it will be based off of a 6 nanometer node from TSMC, so there will be some improvements going from the current 7 nanometer node to this new and improved 6 nanometer node, though I think it's just kind of a small improvement over the 7 nanometer, so of course that's going to lead to possibly you know higher clock speeds as well as possibly a slight increase in the IPC but according to Red Gaming Tech you're probably not going to be looking at a huge improvement over the current Ryzen 5000 Zen 3 processors and honestly it looks like at least according to him you're going to be seeing probably a maximum of about a 12% increase over the Ryzen 5000 series processors though you know on average you're probably going to be looking at a much lower improvements probably somewhere between like 6 and 9% or at least that's kind of what I gathered from his video but what's more exciting than these Ryzen 6000 series processors, which are really just a refresh over the Ryzen 5000 series, is the Ryzen 7000 series processors, which will be built off of the TSMC 5 nanometer node, which should be a pretty big improvement over the current 7 nanometer node, and apparently, at least according to Red Gaming Tech, we're going to be looking at here, uh, when you compare it to the Zen 2 processors, so not Zen 3, but Zen 2, you're going to be looking at somewhere between 40 to 45 percent improvement over those processors. Now, uh, when you compare that to the Zen 3 processors, you're probably going to be looking at a similar improvement that we got from Zen 2 to Zen 3, going from Zen 3 to Zen 4. So yeah, this is going to be yet again another huge improvement uh, coming from AMD, and this is definitely going to spell some serious trouble for Intel, and I think they're going to have a hard time keeping up with AMD if AMD continues to uh, basically year after year have huge improvements. Now, of course, if AMD does have kind of a TikTok uh, way of going forward with things such as Intel has in the past, then maybe Intel does have some time to actually catch up to AMD, especially if they continue to do their refresh processors like the Ryzen 6000 series which according to Red Gaming Tech should be coming out here uh, pretty soon, maybe end of this year, maybe early next year. But yeah, if they continue to do that, maybe Intel can catch up. But if AMD continues to have these 20 to 25% improvements every single generation, it's definitely going to be very difficult for Intel to catch up. But now let's go ahead and talk about that next door, because if you thought that the GPU shortages were bad, well, apparently things are about to get worse, as apparently not only are we going to be facing GPU shortages going forward here, you know, although things do seem to be getting a little bit better on that front, but on top of that, we're apparently going to be facing what appears to be a hard drive shortage pretty soon here as well. Now, this information does come from the website WCCFTech.com, and I will have links to all my sources in the description below, as always. But according to WCCF Tech, they said, quote, hard drives and SSDs may be the next components to face a shortage. According to the latest HKEPC report, an emerging cryptocurrency Chia is mined with storage space, and miners in China are buying up hard drives and SSDs at an alarming rate. So yeah, it looks like the way this new cryptocurrency Chia is going to work is that the more hard drive space that you have and the more reliable that space is, the more potentially profitable it could end up being for you. At least I believe that's the way it's going to work. I'm not really into the whole mining space, uh, but that's the way it looks to me. And of course, since there's money to be made, it looks like all these miners are already going out and buying as many hard drives as they possibly can. Now, this is probably going to start off with like the data center class stuff as that's definitely going to be the best option for these people. However, as time goes on, if Chia does end up becoming a very popular cryptocurrency, you can bet that all those hard drives that you buy for your PC, including SSDs, are like likely going to be targeted as well and this is just starting in China right now however it's likely going to move on to all the various different regions so if you're in the US you're probably gonna have to deal with this as well so what I'm going to tell you right now is that if you've been planning on upgrading to an SSD or maybe just buying more storage or just getting some external storage right now I would highly suggest that you go out and buy that storage right now as you know it could be that it turns out that this doesn't really end up affecting you or maybe it just you know has a small increase in the price and you don't really have to worry about it too much however you know it also also could be that, you know, say uh, six months from now, you're looking at a situation where you can't really even buy storage for a reasonable price anymore. It could go from maybe 10 cents a gig for an SSD to like 20 or 30 cents a gig, uh, considering if you take a look at how things have been trending for graphics cards. I mean, graphics cards are like two, three times more expensive than they originally were. Now, of course, graphics cards have a whole bunch of other situations affecting them as well. Uh, there's just component shortages in general, as well as there's just huge demand for graphics cards. So I don't think it'll be as bad on the storage side. However, 
However, there are just going to be a lot more people looking for storage since they're into PC gaming. Uh, so it could be, you know, maybe nearly as bad as the whole GPU shortage. So again, if you've been planning on doing an upgrade, I would highly suggest doing it right now because you can buy them for a reasonable price right now and that may not be how it is in the future. So if you're going to go ahead and look for hard drives or SSDs, what I'm going to tell you is I'm going to have some uh, Amazon affiliate links in the description below. So if you're planning on going in and buying them, you might as well click those links as I do get a small kickback after you click one of those links, basically no matter what you buy. But I'm going to have some links to various SSDs as well as hard drives that I believe do represent some pretty good value or just very good performance overall. But in any case, yeah, if you've been planning on doing an upgrade, I would probably pull the trigger. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think that Intel is going to ever be able to catch up to AMD or do you think the AMD is going to continue to leave Intel in the dust? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.